My name is Scott Shaw. I'm not sure how long I've been here. I feel like it may have been somewhere around 20 years. I'm in a band called Leper. We've been around probably since 2000, I feel like. I've always been a writer. I just, I love the mechanics. Like, I, I love how a, a drum pattern revolves in relation to what the bass is doing. And then the, the guitar is doing different notes. And, and then when you put them all together, and they, they create a braid. It's not showing off, you know, musicianship. It's about creating a, an atmosphere. My reason for coming here was probably about a couple of hundred different times over the years of praying, what should I do with my life? I would always be reminded somehow about this place. But then I would write that off, well, that's really far away. You gotta have a lot of money to make a move like that. They wouldn't want me there. I, I, I'd be way too extreme for a place like that. Just any excuse you could think of. Well, I was doing a job at a sign company that out of the blue one day they announced to me, so we're going to start in the near future this mandatory 15 hour shift, Monday through Saturday, maybe even Sunday, we're not sure, and we don't know how long we're gonna be doing that. That was terrifying, because I had just got married. My wife works nights, I work days, I will never see her. I could forget about being involved with church ever again. My life will literally become building bricks for Pharaoh. I don't wanna start a marriage like that, that's, that's foolish. You know, I don't care how much the money is, and, and it would have been good money, but what is that worth in, in, in the face of family? So I, you know, I went off in the restroom and agonized about it, and then I had this passing thought, go to Japuza, live like they live. And this time I thought, oh my gosh, why did I never think of that before? And I couldn't wait to get home to my agoraphobic wife and tell her this new idea who said, what? <laughs> you know, the more information I found for her to give her a perspective and an understanding of what's going on and what, what my thought was, the, the more excited she got. She did feel like a little bit like, well, that's Chicago. There's like mean people there, which has not been our story. You can't really explain what's good about living here easily. It is, you know, can open, worms everywhere. It's, it's the, the people that I live with. If my wife gets the flu, I can just go down the hall and find a mom. And, and somebody's gonna have some kind of flu medicine somewhere. Or, or the, well, the guy that lives next to us, he's a single guy. He doesn't have any family here. He, he got the flu. Like I think a week after he moved into the, the room next to us, like we found out he was sick. Like, and it was, so we sent him a message, hey, if you need something, tell us, because nobody should be sick by themselves. And, and, and that's like, that's service unto the Lord because you're, you're doing unto the least of these. So of course that, that, that feels good to know that that's where we live. It feels wonderful to know that Especially with, with, with COVID, if you, di if you got that, you know that there's, there's like at least four people on your floor that are gonna bring your meals to you. When you need somebody, there's always somebody there. You need somebody to pray with you, you will easily find somebody for that. And it's, it's, it's a wonderful thing.